Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to add custom alerts to your live streams using Streamlabs. Okay, so it turns out that Streamlabs has a new system for their alerts. They call it the Alert Box V2, and we're gonna go over it so I can show you the basics, okay? I'm not gonna be covering all the variations, but I will be linking a video in the description for that. So check it out. Okay, so here I have both Streamlabs OBS and also the website open just to show you the difference. People who use OBS Studio, for example, do not have the option to just add an alert box. They will have to go through the website. So it's better for me to show you through the website first and then I'll give you a sneak peek on what changes inside of Streamlabs OBS. So on the website, of course, you're gonna go streamlabs.com, log in with your Twitch account, and then find alert box. If you don't see it on the left here, you can just type it in the search bar, okay? All right. And um, technically, if you just logged in, it will still look like the old one. I don't know if they're gonna switch it permanently in the future, uh, but right now it looks like that. And, and top right, you have this little box that you can tick to get the V2 version. So let's tick it and uh, boom, here's the new version of the alert box. It's supposed to be simplified. It's supposed to be more variation friendly. But as I said, we're not going through vari variation. We want to see the global settings. So this green, green screen here is basically the preview. OK, so if you're making an alert, you can actually preview it straight from here. This is global settings. Uh, here you have your profanity filter, bottom right. Here you have some extras and then you have like delays and, and mod delay and all of that. What we're actually trying to find here is global alert types. So we're going to click here. And now on that drop down menu, we will see what we're mostly interested in. It's cool that it's this it displays like that because now we can see which alerts are on right now. We can see that by default, the Twitch raid is not on. So if I want to have that on, I can just click on it and activate it. Boom. And automatically saved it. All right. So if I want to modify to edit my Twitch follow, for example, I would go here. All right, so once I click once here, this changes and now I'm editing the Twitch follow global, right? Now, the basic things are the layout, okay? So image above text here, you have text over image here, even though that, that says above, that says banner, and that says what? Side, basically it's text underneath the image, text on top of the image, and text to the right of the image, to the side, if you will. So for our custom alerts, we're actually gonna be using custom alerts from the futuristic pack found on gumroad.com slash gal level. If you go to gumroad.com slash gal level, right here, it's the futuristic pack, and we're gonna be using the alerts that are in this pack, because this pack contains nine alerts plus one blank background. And I think it's a very good example because those are animated and they are already formatted to the right format that you need. Okay, let's go ahead and actually test it here, okay? In order to test it, you have to click here to send test. So we test it here. And as you can see right now, there's an image and there's some text at the bottom, okay? This is where the layout comes out. If I put text over image and I click save settings, then I test it, the text will be on top of the image. All right, I think you figured it out. Okay, now let's break down the whole image and text. If you go here, you'll see image and then at the bottom you'll see sound. I meant image and sound, okay? If you hover over the plus button, that first icon that says select image is where you're going to have your library. Basically, this is where you can upload your custom stuff or on that tab that says st stock. You can actually use things that are already uploaded. Those are GIFs mostly uploaded to Streamlabs. All right, let's go over the rest really quickly. So the X is to just delete the image that the current image, it won't delete it from the library. It will just delete it from that specific alert. Um, this is preview image it will open it up in a new tab and then the last one is link this is where you can add a giphy link for example if you have a gif on the internet you have a, a direct link to that gif you can put it there and actually use it as an alert uh, same thing for the audio you have uh, the library and all of that we're not going to be uploading any audio but we're going to be going through the library so in default you want to click select image and you want to click upload since we're uploading custom alerts right and then in the futuristic animated 
over the APAC, you will find a folder that says alerts and they're all here. Now we're looking for follower alert. Those are WebM files, so they're already prepared basically to be used as alerts. So let's click open and wait a couple seconds for it to upload. And there it is. You can click select. Uh, let's click select image again. Let's make sure that we click on it <laughs> and then select. And now it's supposed to be here. Let's click save settings and then send test. There we go. Nice. Now, of course, here it's showing up um, on a green screen. But if we go to Streamlabs OBS where we already added an alert box, if you don't know how to add an alert box, just click plus here on top of the sources list uh, and then alert box. OK. In order to test it within Streamlabs OBS, we can click test widget and that was follow. And uh, there it is. OK, obviously, when it comes to the text at the bottom, it's going to be under font here. You can check the font font size and in our case, it's a little big. The font weight, um, there's a bunch of different fonts that you can actually use and then there's font highlight color font highlight color is actually going to be the highlighted part you'll see it's colored here like the name of the follower so you can change that we're gonna give it some sort of blue because that's the color of our, of the pack right there now if you don't like the placement of the text which i completely understand something you can play around with is the html size Basically, if I double click on the alert box here, once I add it and you have those options in OBS Studio 2, the height, for example, is way, way higher than the actual alert, right? Let me try to demonstrate this. So it's here and it just puts it at the bottom, right? But our, but our alert is just like, it's kind of small. So what we're going to do is let's say reduce this by like half okay now the height is 300 and now we can try it out and that looks a little bit better now when you're playing around with the height like that keep in mind that depending on the alert you will actually need some space for example for donations people can um send a custom message so you would want a little bit of space for the message to appear okay so basically this is the gist of it you select the type of alert and then within here, you will upload whatever it is you want to use as an image. In this case, we use uh, the alerts from the overlay pack and then you click save and you're good to go. So in the futuristic animated overlay pack, what you have is nine different pre-made alerts, right? So you will have one for cheers, donations, follower, gifted sub, host, merch, raid, resub and subscriber. So you can add all of that right off the bat. Then you'll have an alert background just in case you know how to edit videos and you want to add your own stuff. Maybe you stream on Mixer, for example. If you have access to a video editor, you can add your own text and do your own thing. OK, from there, if you're using OBS Studio, all you have to do is go up top here, add alert box to your stream, click copy URL, go to OBS Studio. I have it open here. There's going to be a weird inception. I'm sorry. And then um, click plus to add a new source go to browser click ok and then here you will paste that link that you just got right so now when you test it from the website because you apparently you can test it from straight from obs or i don't know how to do it because i don't use obs to stream uh and you click send test it's gonna play three times by the way now it's gonna appear <laughs> Um, but if you are using uh, Streamlabs OBS, I want to show you how it looks like straight in Streamlabs OBS. So again, add source, click alert box, it will add it. Um, let me double click. This is the window that you're going to get, right? So if you want to just do all of those things that I did uh, straight into Streamlabs OBS, you can just go in here. Um, you already have all the global settings here. Uh, just click, you know follow and uh, you can add variations you can also click here to add like a whole new alert and then set all the conditions so you click on subscription and then on the right you'll have all the options so title message you have the options and then you have media uh, this is where you will actually change the media right um i've already changed mine i don't know why 
not showing me there we go subscriber like that click done boom easy clap volume for the sound let's see animation you know if you want to you want it to fade in fade out all of that that's fine resub message let's click ok and test it <laughs> CTS works. Um, it messed up my uh, font size, but that's completely fine. And that's it. If you want to get the futuristic pack, that's going to be at gumroad.com slash level. And if you have any comments or suggestions for other videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Follow me on social media. You know the deal. If you've watched multiple of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, do yourself a favor and subscribe now. Okay, you don't want to miss the videos that I put out. And yeah. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for watching my video. Go out there, make me proud. Get level out.